Would you rather run 400 meters up a ski jumping hill, be the champion of farmer's golf in Switzerland, build the tallest human pyramid in India, master the traditional Taiwanese art of Diablo, or jump across a river with a pole in the Netherlands? These are five of the wildest sport events you can find in the world. Let's find out what they're all about. The fearsome Red Bull 400 is the world's toughest and steepest 400 meter race. It's an unbelievably intense competition that pushes even the fiercest athletes to their limits. Invented in Austria in 2011, the event has grown into an international competition with stops happening all across the world. The idea is simple. Beat everyone else to the top of the ski jumping hill. Sounds easy, right? Well, maybe not. The finish line is four soccer fields away and over 140 meters in the sky. And if that wasn't hard enough, runners face a grueling incline of 37 degrees. Now that's more like it. The race is open to everyone from pro athletes to everyday runners. And if you don't want to run the whole distance, you can join a relay race. Form a group, sign up, and get ready to tackle the ski jump together. Hornison is a traditional Swiss sport, which originated in the 17th century. The name comes from the sound of the puck, which can whiz through the air at up to 300 kilometers per hour and creates a buzzing noise similar to a hornet. It's also known as farmer's golf. The sport uses a sloped batting stand made of metal where a rubber hornet is mounted. The hornet is struck using a bat, pretty similar to baseball, but not quite. The objective is to strike the puck as far as possible. As one team strikes, players of the opposing team stand around the landing area and try and strike down the Hornet with a wooden paddle. Opponents are even allowed to throw their paddles in the air in an attempt to block the Hornet. Shots will typically travel at a staggering 300 meters before they land, but there's a catch. Shots have to fall directly onto the ground without any contact from the opposing team to count for your score. A match usually lasts for about three hours. The team that scores the most points wins. It might be known as the Human Pyramid elsewhere, but here in Mumbai, we bring you the Red Bull Jodkitod, an adventure sport tournament based on the traditional practice of Dahi Handai. In the ultimate test of grit and determination, participants reach Skyward using nothing but muscle power and brute strength. Red Bull Jodkitard pits teams against each other in a time-bound competition. The festival of Dahi Handai sees teams join together to build towering human pyramids that can reach up to 40 foot high. Their goal is to reach up and break the Handai as fast as possible. It's a knockout style tournament where the fastest team progress to the next round until they reach the final. Red Bull Pow takes the traditional Taiwanese art of Diablo to a whole new level. Each round is a head-to-head -head battle where the action is performed to music and personal style is crucial. It all starts with a spinning motion. Once the Diablo reaches a fast enough spin speed, it becomes stable. Then it's up to the performer to be as creative as possible. But this contest isn't just about the most eye-catching throws. The best contenders have to cover every aspect of POW. P stands for power. Performers must execute show-stopping tricks that blow the audience away. A is for accuracy. Judges want to see precision in every throw and catch. And O represents originality. The most unique performances will stand out from the rest. Hope you're not afraid of heights. The ancient sport of Phil Yepin dates back to the 18th century Friesland Dutch province. Back then, farmers would use wooden poles to cross ditches filled with water. It became a sporting competition back in 1771, but the sport wasn't properly structured until the mid-1900s. 
Nowadays, the athletes sprint towards a pole standing vertically in the water, jump onto it and climb as high as possible. The pole is between 8 and 13 metres long and has a flat, round plate at the bottom to prevent it from sinking into the mud. Whilst climbing, the athletes have to control the pole's forward and side-to-side -side movements to give themselves as much time as possible. But it's not just about reaching the top of the pole. The goal is to land as far forward as possible on the floating sand bed. The person who jumps the farthest wins. Do you know any unique events we should know about? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and remember to subscribe for more videos. If you want to go deeper into some of the world's most mind-blowing events, check out our Archaic Festival series on Red Bull TV. Get the app and find out more by hitting the link in description.